Well, today we're going to make a simple uh, Zenodio tester. Um, and this is without using a bench power supply or any expensive equipment. Yeah, all we're going to use is a multimeter, uh, some 9 volt batteries, uh, three crocodile clip wheels, and a resistor. Yeah, and this is all we need uh, to make a, a tester that will test Zeta diodes. And it's also excellent for testing uh, strings of LEDs like you find in Christmas lights and these sort of things. Yeah, uh, so let's make the tester and then let's uh, see how it works. Okay. So we're going to use three batteries. This will test uh, Zener diodes up to around 25 volts. Yeah, um, you could use four batteries, as I've shown you. Just put the extra battery on, and that will give you tests up to about 37 volts, something like that. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do first is put these batteries in series, and that's very easy to do. So we just clip one battery to the next, and then we clip the other battery to the next. And now they're all clipped together. We've got a 27 volt uh, source, yeah, power source. Uh, so from this, we're going to take um, a crocodile clip lead and put it onto the negative terminal. Right? And we're going to take another lead <coughs> and put this onto the positive terminal. Okay. So we now have uh, the two leads attached. Uh, from the positive one now we're going to take the resistor this is a, a one kilo ohm resistor uh, the value isn't critical um, sort of between one and two kilo ohms would be fine yeah um, so we'll connect the positive to the resistor okay and then from the resistor we're going to connect our other uh, crocodile clip lead so, so there we have it we have the resistor connected to the battery and we have the two crocodile clip leads this is where we're going to place the multimeter. So we'll take the multimeter, the black wire to the negative, okay, and the red leads to the positive. And we now have our tester. So this is our tester, yeah. So we'll take a, a Zener diode. This is t we'll test Zener diodes and also tell you what voltage they are if they're not marked and you're not sure, yeah. And the way we connect to a Zener diode to test is the cathode, the end with the stripe, goes to the positive lead, yeah? So in this case, we'll just take our test leads now, uh, we switch the meter on, of course, to, to volts, yeah? And we just connect across the Zener diode. And we can see 4.5 volts. So this is like a four, do you always read slightly different? So it's like a 4.3, 4.5, just look to see what's the most common values. I mean, Zeners tend to come in a fixed range of values, yeah? But that's reading 4.5, so that's the Zener voltage. If you, by mistake, connect the diode the wrong way round, all that will happen, you'll read about 0.6 to 0.8, something like that. Yeah, 0.8. So the higher reading is a Zener voltage. That's a that's a 4.3 volt, 4.5 volt. Uh, let's take another one. So again, the red wire to the stripe. Yeah, we'll connect the black wire. And this is a 13 volt Zener. Okay. Again, if we put it reverse, it'll read about 0.8 or something in that region, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Yeah. So that's a 13 volt Zener. So not only we. Uh, discovering the value of these zeners but it's also uh, telling us which way round they go yes yeah, there's all the information we need so we'll, we'll do one more uh, so again the stripe to the red 25 volts that's a 25 volt zener so we've now uh, tested some zener diodes with our tester yeah it's very simple very easy uses very small amounts of equipment uh, but we can also use this for to test christmas lights so normally instead of Christmas lights and you know these sort of strings of LEDs, garden lighting, typically you'll have a 24 volt power pack and the LEDs are actually wired 8 in series in each string. So effectively each string of LEDs loops like this. So to test the LED strings this is very handy because you don't have to test all the LEDs individually. yeah. And you can, if you have some meter probes with sharp ends on, effectively you can stick them into the wires that go between the, you know, the, the LEDs to get a contact to where you want. So you don't have to dismantle it either. So in this case, let's go to the uh, first LED in the string. 
okay nothing's happening so the chances are it's either a faulty LED or we have the wires the wrong way around so let's go the other way so again here that LEDs flashes that's a good one yeah so let's go further down the string now let's say you know, we'll do the first four together yeah they're all good yeah go to the fifth one sixth one isn't working number five is working number six isn't working yeah so number six is our faulty LED quite simple just work your way along and when it stops working that's your faulty LED I've actually simulated this by connecting the LED back to front yeah just to simulate a faulty LED so let me now replace that LED in other words solder it the right way around and then let's test it again okay so I've now replaced the faulty LED yeah so we can just go again on our chain we just connect to the first one and we can work our way down hopefully the weed doesn't fall off the uh, thing yeah the crock clip okay so we can now go along this so we'll go from the first one again so first two are good three four five six seven eight so we now know that chain of leds are all good and we can move on to the next segment and so on so that's a very quick way to test uh, your led garden lights christmas lights party lights yeah okay that's a very short video just shows you what you can do with three batteries and a resistor and a few bits of wire i hope you enjoyed that one and hope it proves useful to you i'll see you very soon with another video bye for now